Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren, thank you so much for watching. Today, I'm feeling a little anxious in a weird way. Um, last night we had an earthquake and it was only like a three point something, but it was only like 10 miles away. So it really shook the house a lot. And I slept so horribly cause I was so nervous about another one. Uh, coming and and all that said I feel like I'm just a little bit out of it in a way that I'm not I don't know I just feel a little off and I am pretty sure that's why because I was I was just very scared the earthquakes are scary and I know the big ones like coming it has to be coming it's been so long so <sighs> Anyway, anyway, everything's fine. Um, <laughs> but I thought today we could do something a little bit more chill, a little bit more relaxing, and I'm going to be going through all my lip products today. I just did declutters, I did. Um, but I was doing my whole collection at the time, and I realized from this little guy, <laughs> this product, that a lot of my lipsticks are old and they are expired. This is expired. I went to put this on and I could see a little bit of discoloration at the very like top of the stopper, but I was like, whatever, and I put it on and I could just tell that the scent of this was off more than it had been in the past and it just was unpleasant. It was unpleasant to use and it makes me so sad. This is Bare Minerals Sugar and I love this lip gloss. I think it's beautiful. I'm sad to get rid of it. But with me and lip glosses and just lip products in general, I don't use a ton of lip products. I stick to my favorites. I don't really care about what's on my lips as much. It's more about the eyes, like that's my thing. And so because of that, I tend to keep my favorites for a long time and I don't wanna let go of them. I don't wanna get rid of them because because I love them and I use them a lot, but a lot of them are at the point where they're just a little bit too old. So when I was doing my declutter before, I was really focused on style, like if a product fit my style, if it was something I thought I would use, and getting rid of the bulk of my collection that way. And I did get rid of some expired products, but I think it's really hard to get rid of those expired products that you do love. And for me, I'm realizing with this year and just every year that I'm still into makeup and I still buy a lot of makeup and all that, that there are some products that you buy knowing that you're going to use them all the way up, that you're going to get your entire money's worth out of it. And there are other products that you hope to get your money's worth, but that doesn't mean the entire product. Um, and so for the ones I'm going to be getting rid of that are too expired, like they're just, they gotta go. Even without using them up, I still definitely feel like I got my money's worth out of them. Um, and so what I wanna do is with this declutter, I really wanna focus in on getting rid of the really old stuff in my collection. There are a few things I think I'm going to keep till the end of the year and then I will get rid of them. And then there are also some things that I wanna be really purposeful about keeping because if I can pass something on before it goes bad in my collection, just sitting there uh, and someone else can get you out of it while it's fresh and good. I would prefer that. So I wanna have all that in mind while I'm going through my collection. I'm gonna be trying to give you guys swatches. I don't know how much I'm gonna talk. I might make this more like a relaxing video. It felt like the last one in a way where I was doing makeup errands and this is kind of a makeup errand that I need to do. I need to go through and whittle some stuff down since I found this. It, it just sparked that, you know that thought of, okay, I gotta get rid of some stuff. So um, let's get into it. I hope you guys enjoy and let's do it. All right, so I wanted to give you guys a little overview of how I store my lip products currently. I normally don't have my lip liners in here, but I brought them out. This is everything that I have right now. I took everything out of the bathroom. I took everything out of my purse. Like this is what I have and I have it separated by, this is like lip glosses. This is regular bullet lipsticks. I have my liquid lipsticks over here. This is all of my like tinted balms. Um, yeah, tinted balms. And in the center are all of my lip scrubs, lip treatments, lip balms, and that type of stuff. So I feel like it's a lot, but I also feel pretty good about this amount of stuff. Like I don't feel too overwhelmed really, but I do want to go through, like I said, and get rid of those really old products. I also really want to be hard and real with myself about what I'm going to use, what I realistically think I'm going to use so that way I can pass things on before they actually get too old or even potentially opened. So let's get into it. I'm gonna break it down by category and section. All right, I know this isn't super aesthetic, but it is what it is. Um, these are all of my bullet lipsticks and all of these ones here are from W7. Most of this stuff actually is PR. When I think of what I've purchased, I purchased this and I purchased these three 
or like this was a gift with purchase, but these I purchased, I also purchased this, everything else is PR. And so, um, yeah, I can tell like I'm not nearly as into a lot of these. So off the bat, I know these are old, I know they're old, but I'm going to, this one's actually not as old as the others, but I am going to keep these two. This is NARS Iberico, which was limited edition. If you ever see me in an orangey red, <laughs> this is the color I'm wearing. And then I'm going to be also keeping this one here, which is Bettina, and I'm going to be using that till the end of the year. I love this formula and I wanna keep that in mind for when I'm purchasing things this year as I need to replace some stuff. I do really love the formula of these. So those are my three NARS lip pencils. This one from Nude Sticks, I did buy a while ago and I think I'm ready to get rid of it. It's pretty matte and drying. And going into a different section, this is from Too Faced and I did get this more recently. I feel like they're very similar. They're not exact, but they're similar enough for my purposes. So this one I am going to get rid of. These ones here from uh, Bare Minerals, I haven't really tried enough to know my thoughts on formula. So I need to do that. They sent me like the entire range, which is so awesome. I like this berry. I don't think I have anything quite like that. So I might keep that one. This, let's see what it's like. It's just not the same. I know they look similar, but they're not. The so I think I'm going to actually pass this one on because I know I will for at least the next year reach for Iberico. Um, and I just, I love that formula more. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Um, when it comes to the red one too, I don't think I have anything red in this type of formula, like something that's a little bit easier to do. So I'll keep both of those for now. This is another product that unfortunately I need to get rid of. This is from Revlon. It's an HD Dawn. I do really love this color. I love the formula. I love everything about it, but I know it's getting old. I know it's getting old. It's gotta go. This one's newer to me. I just got this during about the holidays. It's from Lorac. It's a part of their Rachel Zoe collection. It's a really beautiful like brownie nude. I'm gonna see if I have anything similar in the W7 formula before I decide what to do with that. These from Doll 10 are like a liquid shine lipstick. Like they're more pigmented than a gloss, but they're not a liquid lipstick. So I put them in here. I'm gonna swatch this color. Ooh, very. Okay, let's swatch just one color. I do like that shade. This I think I'm gonna keep to try. This brown, this like more peachy one, I don't know if I'll use it. So I'm gonna get rid of that one before I open it. And then same with this. This is just not a color that I really reach for, so I'm gonna pass that on as well. I'm doing so well. I think it's like I just want really great products, you know? And when I think about it, it's like <laughs> I could be fine with these three um, so far. But I do want some options. I am on camera, but you know. All right, let's get into, let's do these ones first. These are the Lippy Chic ones, and I love the shade Gossip the most. I know that. It's like a really beautiful, more cool toned nude shade. So I wanna keep that one, but I want to compare these other more nude shades with it. Like that's so pretty. I think they did a great job with these nudes. Um, and then this one, let's see. I like that one too. I think I did a good job with keeping these three. They look similar, but they are different enough. So I'm gonna keep those three for now. And it makes me just feel like I can get rid of this Lorac one, honestly. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. All right, so that's where we're at. Now let's get through these guys. Um, I'm gonna start with the white packaging ones. This is the one I know I'm gonna keep as well. I just love that. It's so peachy. It's kind of like that color, but not a gloss, so. I do want to keep that. And then for these two shades, we have a hot corally orange, which I'm trying to keep. Oh wow, look, definitely way more like electric. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then this is, oh, a really deep shade. And it's way more like pink than that one has in it. I don't know. I think I can get rid of this one. I don't think I'll use it. I, I would probably go matte if I was doing that. And then this is quite bright, but I have a lot of brights to go through. So I'm gonna swatch it over here and see out of these other ones, which ones I'm gonna be keeping. Oh my, Woohoo! That is Barbie pink. It's not even picking up on camera how pink it is. Mm. This is probably the lightest shade that I have. 
I can get rid of that one for sure. I feel like I'll reach this one or I'll reach for this one more than that one. This is another one of those kind of orangey red. Not the same. It's not the same. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Like a, a more brownie shade. And then let's see the last melon, which is like a melony shade. Honestly, guys, I just feel like I could get rid of all of them. This brown was really beautiful. It's called Divine. Maybe I'll keep Divine for like a darker brown, but everything else I'm going to get rid of. Yeah. So I'm ending up only keeping this many, guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 different colors. Oh, wow. Not even in frame. <laughs> Not in the center of the frame. I'm only going to keep the 11 here. I feel pretty good about that. I cut it in over half. So I, I feel very confident going into these other colors that I'll do a really good job of decluttering. All right, so here are my liquid lipsticks. This is everything I own liquid lipstick wise. So I'm gonna, oh, actually one more. I was like, where's my dark green? This is everything I own liquid lipstick wise. So I'm gonna start off by getting rid of the things that I know are too old. So this one here from Kiss, it's too old. It has to go. I also need to get rid of this, unfortunately. This is one of my favorite shades. It's from CoverGirl. It's in Current Nude. The best like nude liquid lipstick, honestly, for me perfect but um, I can just tell it's getting off and kind of separating in there so I have to get rid of that and then this one as well from AOA um, I got this a really long time ago it's such a unique color and that's why I've kept it I did wear it in a video once I mean I would love to have some other type of color in my collection but I'm not I'm not gonna keep this around anymore honestly it's just too old so those three are gone right off the bat all my interesting colors now I'm left with only a few brands so I know I'm keeping this one I just talked about how I just I just got this in a boxy charm so I do like the color I'm gonna keep that one this persona liquid lipstick I really like I do have quite a few reds um, but if I go liquid lipstick I tend to go ish in the red area so I think I want to keep that one it's a little bit more fiery red than what else is here which we'll see in a moment let's move on to dose of colors I have two reds one is date night one is kiss of fire this one's a little bit more pink you can see on the tube there but once you add a second layer it turns a little bit more red and then this one's an actual like more red so all those are different enough for me so I'm gonna keep those. And then Rosebud, I was actually wearing this at the beginning of this video. Uh, it's a beautiful, like, mauve purpley nude. Really love that. So uh, keeping all those. And then when it comes to these ones, these are from Kaleidos, and I really love this one in the shade Immersion. This is such a unique formula because it's not super opaque, which I love, actually. So definitely love that, and I really love the color too. Keeping that one. Um, these I haven't tried yet. I don't know what my problem is. I should. They're really beautiful, and I love, again, that they have that same formula. Let's just swatch this out. This one, I don't know if I'm going to like. I'm going to get rid of this one. It's just so yellow. It's very yellow to me. And then these two are the red matte. Let's compare that one. Oh, yeah beautiful I want to keep that red matte from Kaleidos and then this is a metallic one and I'm gonna keep that too there's something about it the fact that it's red and metallic that I can you know live a fantasy with so I'm gonna be keeping these ones here <laughs> so many freaking reds I definitely don't need any more red liquid lipsticks guys I think we can agree on one thing one thing and, and that's that <laughs> but I feel really good about weeding this down a little bit more Look at that stain, woo, that is rough. We're finally moving our way onto glosses. I know this doesn't look cute, but we're gonna start with it this way because I know I can pick out some of my favorites or some of the things that I think are too old right off the bat. This one from Laura Mercier, you guys have seen me talk about it a lot, it's called Baby Doll, and I do love it. It's such a beautiful pink, but again, it's just getting a little old. I've used it a lot. It's just kind of grody. Like that's the best word to use to describe this. So this one I'm gonna have to trash, unfortunately. This one from Persona is newer to me and I do really like it. I think it's so pretty. So I definitely wanna keep that one. I also do like the formula as well. 
My Glossier, uh, glossy, whatever, clear gloss, definitely want to keep. It's just a clear gloss, guys. Beautiful. Um, it's the only one, I think, in my collection, really, at the moment. So I do want to keep that. This PYT is similar, but it has, like, little pieces of shimmer in it. And honestly, if I were to go with one, I'd go with the Glossier one. So I'm going to actually pass that one on. It's newer to me. Um, so it definitely has so much life. I've used it like one time, so I feel good that I could find a home for this for someone who loves me and wouldn't mind getting this. Another old one I have to get rid of. I don't want to, but it's the Revlon Plumping Lip Gloss or Lip Cream. This color is just the color for me. That is like my ideal color. I love it, but this is discontinued. It's getting old. It's just one of those things, man. That's what time does, man. It expires all your crap. So that's going. I love this. This is definitely staying from In Beauty Project. Oh my gosh, I can't open it. It's the Lip Glaze, Lip Oil Glaze. It's in Candy Apple. It has such a light tint to it. I love, love, love that. So definitely keeping. Oh yeah, hello. Definitely getting rid of the one that sparked this entire thing. Unfortunately, the Bare Minerals gloss has to go. I would consider repurchasing it. I love it that much. I don't know, guys. I mean, I love glosses, but I'm trying to be really good if you can't tell. This is one I'm definitely keeping from W7. It's the most interesting gloss. So I love the color, but it has this like blue shimmer to it. That really is quite beautiful. So I do want to keep that one. I think it's so pretty. And it's like different without being crazy. Oh, I'm definitely keeping this Dominique Cosmetics lip gloss. This has quite a bit more life to it. And I think it's pretty similar to the uh, Laura Mercier one. It's a little bit lighter. Let's talk about the Kaleidos ones. This one I think is such a beautiful color. Definitely want to keep that. This is in the shade Mesmerize. Uh, when it comes to their other colors, these are really beautiful. I think they'd look really good for like editorial type looks or doing something like that. Although I would only ever use these for pictures. Like I know myself and that's all I would use them for. So I want to keep that type of stuff to a minimum. They're so pretty though. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna put these to the side to think about. Other products like that though, these are from uh, Pixie and they're like these lip toppers. And I feel like I think of them the same way. Like they'd make such a pretty lip topper for a crazy look. But do I need them? Do I need these? I just, my lips aren't like the star of the show, you guys. This one's so interesting. I feel like the Kaleidos are so much more wearable in a way. I'm gonna get rid of the gold. I can do that. I'm also gonna get rid of the pink. And then for these kind of more crazy lip topper type glosses, I'm only gonna keep these three. I just feel like this is a more wearable blue. This one's just like so cool. And then this one's more pink and I felt like I didn't need to keep both of those. So I'm keeping those three. Dink, dink, dink. Here we go, guys. We're getting somewhere. Let's talk about my two Becca glosses. I think I have two. Did I get rid of one? So I only have one now. Okay, this is the shade Lilac Geode. I don't know why, I just never use these. I'm gonna get rid of this. I love Becca too, but I don't know. I'm just not attracted. Should we talk about the Fenty ones? I don't wanna give out misinformation. I talked about how these have that ingredient that is plastic, but also I found out since then, so do my Becca highlighters, which is unfortunate, but also a lot of products have it and they don't have glitter in them. It's used as like kind of a filler binder type of product. Anyway, I'm not sure if the product in here is being like that filler type thing or if it's the actual glitter particles in here. So it's just tough. Like I definitely feel a little tainted with using these. Um, I think that, I, I mean, my love for them is strong. I love, I love these colors. The peach one's a little bit older. I think I am going to just get rid of them. I, but I don't want to give you guys bad information saying this is or isn't glitter in the same way that I'm trying to not use. It's all complicated and um, it's just nothing's clean cut for me because it's hard to figure it out. <laughs> really, that's the information is what's hard to get to then make the decision. So anyway, I think I am going to just get rid of these though. So that way I just don't have them staring at me, which is sad, but um, you know, I have other great glosses. This one from Urban Decay, the Vice like lip tint type thing. I don't like this. I tried it. I don't, I just don't like that color first off. 
I don't know if you guys can even see how crazy bright it is, but then it leaves like a stain. Just unfortunate products, so. Ooh, <laughs> that's a no. This is too old, another one of those too old, and also, I just never liked the smell of this anyway. I do think the color is pretty. It's a little bit, it's pretty nude, honestly. It's pretty nude, but also it smells like uh, coffee, but also just kind of like Play-Doh plastic, so I definitely want to get rid of that. I just know that I'll just feel guilty having it in here and not using it, so that needs to go. Yeah, and plus it's from Bite, which is way more like natural food grade stuff, so it just goes bad faster. I wanna have like this as a comparison, but it's starting to get a little bit uh, full, so I'm gonna wash my hand off. See, that's the Urban Decay stain. Just from that long, it did that. All right, let's maybe deal with some of these Ofra ones. I have quite a few Ofra lip glosses here. I do quite like the formula of these, so that's really nice. So let's just see what these colors look like. This one is Apricot Dream. It's a little bit lighter, adds a little bit of a shine. I do think with a lip liner, that'd be so pretty. This is Cherry Mocha, which honestly, Cherry Mocha was a lot more pink than I expected it to be. I thought this would be more like a brown, but it has a lot of pink to it. Oh no, I don't know how much it stopped recording, you guys, I'm so sorry, but this is from W7. I'm gonna get rid of this one. It's a little bit too metallic. Um, I hope you saw everything else. I don't know. Um, this is where we're at anyway. <laughs> this is from Iconic London. I got this in a BoxyCharm, and I think I'm actually gonna keep this. It's one that actually shears out in a really nice way. It leaves just like a tiny bit of a milky finish, you know? So that one I'm gonna keep. Let's see, this is White Russian. <laughs> My little baby of White Russian. I think I'm gonna keep that one too. It's so tiny, like it's not taking up a lot of space. It's not like a ton of products going bad. So I'll keep that. And then I have these three. Two of them are from Rimmel. Let's see. Okay, that looks like Cherry Mocha kinda. And then this one, let's see. I think I'm only gonna keep this one. I'm gonna get rid of the other Rimmel one. It's beautiful, but I think I'll use Cherry Mocha over it. This is in the shade Sippin', and then this one is in Down to Gloss. I like Down to Gloss. And last, my Saint Jane. This one's quite sparkly. It's a newer one to me. I just, I'm not into that much sparkle, honestly. <sighs> it's so beautiful, I don't wanna get rid of it, but I am, I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm trying to be really real, guys. I feel like my lip, my lip product collection is for use. It's for putting on a lip color with my eye look, you know, so. I don't need to have as much adventurous stuff for it. That one I did really well with, but I'm gonna show you guys the results at the end. All right, these are my lip balms and uh, my, these are my tinted lip balms and also my, uh, what are these? Lip liners. Yeah, let's just go through it. I think I might keep a lot more of these because they're way more my style. So I have a bunch from Lee Swatier. You guys remember when I loved these? I haven't used them in so long, I need to. Bust them out. They are all quite sheer. They're all very moisturizing. I'm gonna keep all those. I'm gonna keep them all. Hopefully I use some more of these, especially this like these two brighter colors, like the pink and red in the summer. These cooler ones are newer to me. Um, I wanna see what those, what the color really looks like swatched out. Okay, so those are them. I think realistically I'm gonna use this one more, so I'm gonna pass that one on. I, I love the idea of these. I just need to be real with myself. Um, and then this I got in Mecca uh, when I was in Australia last year, and I really do like it. It's way more glossy and a little bit more like brown neutral. I definitely wanna keep that. Plus it was hella expensive. And then this is a product I wanna use up by the end of the year. If I don't, I will get rid of it. But this is the Revlon Peach Lip Balm. I really like it. And let's do these lip liners really fast. I know I wanna keep my Saint Laurent one because, I don't know, I just use it all the time. I really find I love a pencil liner. When it comes to lip liners, the retractable ones are fine. I just, I really like how a wood one works. You can like put it on its side more. I don't know how to explain it. It just, they work better for me. So I'm keeping that in mind as I go. Beautiful color. I have one missing here. My Makeup Forever pencil, I don't know where it is. I wore it out and I put it in my pocket and I really hope I didn't lose it, but if I did, I would purchase it. I love it that much. This is a color I don't really have, like this more wine. So I wanna keep that. I do wanna keep one of these as like a neutral. 
Oh yeah, that's a good one. I love this one. I think I'm gonna keep that one. Let's see this color. I'm gonna get rid of this, and I'm also gonna get rid of the Lorac one. Wow, getting rid of so much Lorac. And then this is a more orangey red. I do think I wanna keep this just for those times that I want something a little bit more pointed to define my lip. So I'm gonna keep four plus my Makeup Forever one, which I hope I can find. All right, so here are all of my lip balms. I have a lot in packaging and stuff still. Um, so I'm gonna start off just by grabbing what I know is expired. So I smelt this earlier, this Barry M. Um, I got this like over a year ago now. Oh my gosh, I have no idea what has cut off. I'm so sorry, you guys. I have no idea if you've seen any of my lip balm stuff. That is so disappointing and frustrating. Um, but I'm gonna keep going on and I'll show you everything at the end, I guess. <sighs> So frustrating, so frustrating. I really hope it wasn't too much, but I have a feeling it was a lot of stuff. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep going. Um, this is the only lip scrub that I have. I am gonna give it a try and see if it'll work for me. So I'm gonna take it out of the box. Ugh, it's like balmy though. This is not gonna work for me. It's not gonna work for me. I'm gonna pass that one on while it's still unopened, untouched. I really wanna keep this Emile Cordon. This is in the shade or scent Pamela. I, you guys, I don't know if you saw this, but I really love the St. Bart's one. Um, they did send these to me. I would never purchase them because they're so expensive, but I do enjoy using it. So I wanna keep that, and I am gonna keep this backup of this one for now. I have two bite products. I have the Agave Lip Mask, and I also have the like stick, like the daytime one. I wanna keep both of these and try them out again. I've tried the mask. I haven't tried the actual balm, but I do wanna keep them. Okay, these are what's hard. I do love this from Nick K, so I'm gonna keep that. Okay, I think I'm just gonna get rid of, honestly, all of these. Do I need this Mario Badescu one? I don't need any of these. I'm gonna get rid of all of them. This one's unopened, so I can pass that along. This Skin Iceland one, it's nice. I do like it, but I should use the other ones in my collection over these. Blue Lagoon, I don't really have a thoughts on it. The Breeze Balm, I love the smell. It smells like uh, grape, but I don't like how thick it is to get out of this tube, and it kind of gives you that sweaty lip feeling. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but if you do, you know what I'm talking about. And then this Lano Lips I got in Australia, haven't, I don't think I've even used it. So, he's gotta go, they're gonna go. I know you weren't here for most of what happened, but um, let us let me show you what I got going on. Cause I went through like everything, guys. <laughs> I really did. All right guys, so this is where we're at. I feel very happy. I know this isn't super organized, which might drive some of you guys nutso. All right guys, so that is everything. I feel like I did such a great job. I actually did way better than I thought I would. I don't know, I was in the mood, man, and I didn't even know I was in the mood. Got rid of so much, and it just feels nice to have a more condensed down collection, especially again for me with lip products. I know that when I come to this drawer, I'm gonna freaking reach for this, or I'm gonna reach for this, or these, over all those other things that were in here anyway. So why have them in here wasting away? I do think that my collection could use a little bit more, like a few fun bright pops of color that I think I'll actually wear. Even if it's only a couple times, you know, once a month or a couple times a year or whatever, I wouldn't mind having a few, but I want them to be in the right formula. I want them to be in the right capacity, probably something like these. Um, I think I would get the most use out of and they would actually work for me instead of just keeping things for the color But not liking the formula or you know I, I still don't reach for them if they're not going to be perfect in other ways So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, For me something that I'm taking away from this declutter specifically and like the lip products and all the expiring issues Is that I really want to make sure <laughs> that I'm one not hauling a bunch of lip products I'm not buying a bunch of lip products, but also that I am trying to to pass some things on while they're still fresh and just be realistic with myself so that way other people can use them um, besides me. And really just knowing how I actually use products and how I use lip products is 
one, not very often, but also I tend to be a creature of habit. I tend to go for a lot of neutral stuff because I wear a lot of color on the eyes. So I feel very great about this. I think that I could use a couple colors here and there, find some more of those really, really favorites because some of these aren't like favorite favorites like those ones I had to get rid of. So I'd love to find a few of those and keep them for the next couple of years. Um, but I really don't want to buy too, too many because I don't want to have just like a bunch of expired shit no one can even use. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.